A shared grasp is a grasp formed by contacts between the manipulated object and both the robot hand and the environment. By trading off hand contacts for environmental contacts, a shared grasp requires fewer contacts with the hand and enables manipulation even when a full grasp is not possible. Shared grasping can have force closure just like grasping, so if you do it right, the motion can be robust against modeling uncertainties. Control of shared grasp is difficult because there are many possible contact modes. For example, in a planar system, every single contact point has four possible modes. Different contact modes allow different types of motion. An unexpected contact mode usually means failure to the task. Sometimes it even means danger. Unfortunately, distinguishing different contact modes is difficult. A control law designed for one contact mode may drive the system into other modes. In this work, we provide an algorithm called wrench stamping to pick a robot action that can best separate your desired mode from others. Now let me explain how it works. Our method represents the possible wrenches in each mode as a polyhedral convex cone. In this example with four contact points, there are 13 feasible cones. We obtain this representation by computing wrenches from the hand contacts instead of all the contacts on the object, as people would do in traditional grasping analysis. This way, we got distinguishable cones for different modes, and we can select a mode by simply applying a wrench in the cone of that mode. But this approach is not robust to errors, because different cones are very close to each other. To design a robust control strategy, we chose hybrid force velocity control as our robot low-level control instead of pure force control or pure velocity control. We use the velocity control part to filter out undesired modes, because many of them are not compatible with the velocity control. Then the remaining modes are much easier to separate from. Now we can use the force control part to select our desired mode. Be careful that in hybrid force velocity control, we cannot set the force in the velocity control direction. So we project all the remaining cones onto the force control subspace. Then we pick a wrench in the projection of the desired mode while staying away from the projection of other modes. We call this process wrench stamping because of the projection. Using wrench stamping, we can find feasible contact modes in a shared grasping system and reliably execute them. As an example, here we demonstrate execution of six contact modes in the hand block system. Another thing we can learn from wrench stamping is how to evaluate the robustness of a contact mode. We propose geometrical stability margin, which mirrors how hard it is for modeling uncertainties to make a cone disappear. We also propose control stability margin, which mirrors how hard it is for force disturbance to push the system into adjacent modes. Now we show a few ways to use the stability margin. First, we can use it to select the best mode for a task. At each time step, the user only needs to specify the desired velocity. Then our algorithm will pick the mode with highest stability margin and compute robust control for it. In our experiments, there is no vision feedback. We estimate the object pose from robot pose, so the error will accumulate with time. Finally, we can also optimize the contact geometry directly to increase the geometrical stability margin, which is the depth of the intersection between two cones. In the example here, we optimize the finger placement for the pivoting task. The animation shows the depth of cone intersection and finger location during the gradient descent iterations.